Hello everyone, you're here with another LEGO Star Wars Rise of Skywalker set review for 2020, of course. And this one is on the Sith TIE Flyer, or originally TIE Dagger. So, on the front of the box here, you see the LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, the neat border since last year's fall thing, and picture of the set flying in action, and the three mini things down below, Disney logo, Age recommendation is 9 and up. Set number is 752 plus Has 470 pieces. And on the back, see how to like put it on the stand and the resting position, and the features, and yeah. Well, now to the instruction booklet. Same pictures on the front and everything. On the back, kind of went on the online survey. And the pieces. That come with the set uh, for the Skywalker Saga game, after uh, the uh, Winter 2020 wave, and after uh, Lego Life and the last and the steps. First of all, for the main thing, I think it is a Tie Fire pilot. Oh, it's pretty much similar to the ones seen in 2015 with the uh, Special Forces TIE Fighter set. But although there was that one, I wonder why they couldn't stick with the version with the red lines, which from the Last Jedi way. Although that would have been kind of a little bit nicer. But besides that, torso print still good and everything. And helmet piece also the same from that. Holding a small blaster there, of course. And underneath the helmet, the clone face. Annoying, angry clone face. And then some slight back printing, about which is common. And next up is Finn. Oh, the same version that was included in the. A hundred sixty dollar Millennium Falcon set in the last wave, but and this is which half the price of that. So if you weren't able to obtain the Falcon, well, this is a good opportunity to get him. So his torso print of which done good, and hair piece of which quite interesting and also done quite good. And does have that little Indiana Jones satchel piece there, and to gunmetal gray black there. There's some slight back printing and also a good double side base. But besides that, it's all quite updated from in the Force Awakens and Last Jedi waves versions of Finn. And, yeah. and last but not least, is an exclusive member of the Knights of Ren. And of course, the other two members were in the uh, Kylo Ren shuttle set last year as well as. But also one other one in the X-Wing set, which I'll review soon. But this one's prints of which uh, done quite goodly and does have the head helmet piece that we've seen on uh, Rebuild in the Solo Wave. But quite cool with gunmetal great coloring to it. And it has the Irakai sword piece from the Lord of the Rings Hobbit lines. And then there's his back torso print also done quite good and there that's about it. And first of all for builds is get this little hanger. Oops, sorry about that. But as you see it's done with some jagged slopes there and these common things with some trans red uh, plates and tile up top, and it's where you sit the tie dagger on, of course. Anyways, and now onto the main part of it, which is the tie dagger itself. Uh, pretty cool it is. Uh, really cool it is. So, first of all, for the wings of which, which people say are Dorito shaped, and they're calling this the Dorito ship. <laughs> kind of funny. Which kind of bit almost like most other TIE Fighters or TIE Striker, or that is. But however, unlike with those, it's actually stacked up. So it's 
two of what stacked on top of each other. It's kind of interesting how that is, but which, the shaping of which done perfectly with these like jagged plate pieces. So it's going all the way down and also at the tips of which have these new exclusive pieces which are in red and black to give it the proper angular shape which perfect for most angular things in mock making but also do have the vent thing here but if you press that you'll launch the spring loaded launcher which is decent of most TIE fighters nowadays But also some interesting shaping going on here. But as for the center, which is kind of similar to that of the like uh, first order TIE fighter from 2015, but actually in all gray color and cockpit, of which also done well, looks almost like that, but a little differently. You can like flip open and like the 2018 uh, TIE fighter can flip the top part open as well. And there's of course just about enough space to fit your TIE Fire pilot in, of course. Almost like the other ones. And from the top part, see, has a printed uh, piece above and also good use of these like rounded slopes. To them. And from the back angle of which, also a small build with the BB9E heads as extra engines or whatever. But anyways, the rest from the back have those pieces good to put to some good use and good rebels all over. Now to put it on the stand is with the studs on there which connect to the plates that are sticking out. Rest it on there like so. And then suddenly does stand in stand in all pretty good. Of course without it it would just hang down awkwardly. So at least good that they included that. Which I barely see them doing with Star Wars ships nowadays. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So my overall verdict. This, I think, a pretty cool sh set of which, like with different shaping, with different shape to different, at least for a different TIE fighter and all, but kind of interesting thing, how it's called the Sith TIE fighter rather than the TIE dagger. But you can use either one if you want. But also, an alright minifig selection like new version of Finn in a cheaper set, good call, and also exclusive variant of the Knight, one of the Knights of Ren, also good call. And also do get a couple of new neat mocking pieces added to the tips of the wings, obviously. And good consistent color scheme as well, and yeah. And if you're looking to get this set for your uh, Star Wars collection, uh, go ahead and pick it up. And if you're looking to complete the Knights of Ren, also go ahead and pick this up. And that's it with this video, and thanks for watching.